But what the district pastor said simply means I've won. <laughs> he has declared me the president already. I was here on Ghana TV and I'm here with Bia Akwaba. On a book, Kennedy, a Japan, our America showdown. Na I know Guso, na one delegates, and they are my own delegates, aiding Komo, Efa, and you saw the Huno, and then 4th November, about two hours more, I call Koto, and no. And I did the more, or didn't come more, and I could pee, I was Pentecost, I sorry them, and I was chess, or ma, or more USA, a year Pentecost, I sorry them, or more, no more to me, fair delegates, no, no more to me, and to a bar, and man on, and I need to add you, no, a super, a bit to me, a boar, ma, or more, more American, and so, so, a timmy about a mufi, and I saw Ghana, said the almost see peno, and no, and then in some for fro, and a ja. O preachy, yeah, ewa sorry, them hoka cra, yanko, na yanko her said ye o si e kasaye emra ba ye betu asu. Honorable Kennedy or Hine A Kumpra Ko E Japan Hallelujah Praise God You are highly welcome to the church of Pentecost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I'm highly honored to be here this afternoon. In fact, the invitation came late. But when they said Church of Pentecost, I said, Definitely honor the invitation. And I'm not disappointed seeing a crowd like this. So I must say, I'm happy to be here this afternoon. Borough President. The bronze. I used to live in the bronze too. Reverend ministers, elders, my chiefs, queens, my handful, enemy, him, and the congregation. Good afternoon. I'm witnessing something that is actually in the Bible. But surprisingly, Africans or blacks. Are paid to believe that if you are a king or a chief or a queen, then you don't believe in God. But the formation or the building of the church was built by a king. Started by King David, and finished by his son Solomon. So I'm surprised we believe that chiefs and kings don't believe in God. But again, they, they believe so because probably the way we worship. Uh, or even in African traditional religion our religion tells you that the African knew God before the coming of the white man if he said why because when you visit the palace and our kings are pouring libation they say that the almighty God called Kwame I show you this wine and yet I do not give it to you for you to drink the mere fact that the king or the chief 
first made mention of God tells you that the African it says as I see ya, it says said, that um, the earth call ya, this is your wine. Simply means when they say as I see ya in Seni, when they say that the earth call Samawa, ya, we pour libation for you. The African believe that and before ya, Jenny said, it is the land that bears fruits for the living. Again, you. When he says Nananum Samam for when they say that the ghost of our forefathers Mumeji and Sanum we give you wine to drink. The meaning of that statement simply means that the death is serving between the living and the God. So they are the intermediaries between man and his God. And therefore, by pouring libation and mention the death's name, they are asking them to intercede. On their behalf. So the African knew God. And the Bible also says that the church that we are in started by David. David who, who was the king of Israel and his son Solomon completed it and that is what we are witnessing today that we see men of God and our chiefs come together to serve the Lord indeed it's a great day and I commend Church of Pentecost for bringing the congregation and the chiefs together I cannot mean to me say this without Telling my fellow worshippers here that today the Lord has manifested because we have the chiefs who are the leaders and our pastors and congregation the, the servants of God coming together we thank God for that and we bless Church of Pentecost and we ask them to continue. but today I want to plead with you you know what is ahead of me I am contesting to be a flag bearer for MPP. MPP. But what the district pastor said simply means I've won. He has declared me the president already. And by his mark, it will surely happen. Because whatever message God wants to give, he, he passes through mankind. And his sons. And the district pastor has done exactly that. Um, what I want to plead with you is that Ghana is at the crossroads that we need a man with vision 
A man who is going to serve the country and not to lord himself over his people. The servant of God who is going to sacrifice his life to make a difference in the country is honorable Kenejapo. As he says in Matthew 20, 26, he says, anybody who wants to be a leader must first be a servant of the people. And that is what I stand for. I want to serve my country. When you look at me, then you should wake up to hope. If he said, why? Because I was one time a taxi driver in the bronze. And today I'm contesting to be the flag bearer. It is clear indication that no matter where you're born if you are determined in life to make a difference in society with God guidance all to me so members of Pentecost what is happening in Ghana today your population is not less than 3 million if you look at the country around Ghana the West African countries the only country left that has peace is Ghana. on my Ghana. So I'm asking members of Pentecost not to forget the peace of our country. And therefore we should vote for a man who will continue to bring peace to Ghana. It is important. You can make the whole world's money. But if you don't have peace, you have nothing. So I'm begging you. Church of Pentecost. You should lead. And make sure that God will maintain the peace. That is why I rise to come here to plead with you to come together and support Kennedy Japan to lead the country. Besides the peace we want. We need a man with foresight. A man who has a dream to change the fortunes of the country. And that is your servant before you this afternoon. So I'm asking again that when you go on your knees in the morning pray for and God should choose a leader who will change Ghana. The way things are going. You wake up in the morning. You see young Ghanaian men and women excited to have visas to leave the country because there are no jobs. I bleed in my heart. I ask myself where is the future of our country? 
we are losing the human resource. Let's come together. And I hope. I have the hope that we unity. Collaboration. We can move. We can develop Ghana. I want each and everyone here to challenge themselves. But what any white man has done on earth, a black man can do. It and therefore we have to challenge ourselves we should, not, we should not depend solely on america for existence we should not de rely on british Europeans yes. who are yes. God has given us brains. Let us use our brains. And move and develop Ghana. I know most of you here are tired of being in America. You want to go home and rest. But because you don't have confidence in the system. That's why you are still here. I give you hope. If I'm given the opportunity, I'll build the country, develop the country, all of you to come home with the talents you have acquired in America. That is the only way we can develop our country. And that is what I stand for. I want each and every member here to make a phone call to one delegate that he knows that is going to vote in November that the man who has a vision a man who has a foresight a man who thinks of his country his honorable Kennedy and I'm going to be your servant and worship you I don't want you to worship me if he said why because every good leader if he is thoughtful about the country and then said the country very well and they don't bring the money to abroad to save it but the few that we have develop the country I believe strongly that Ghana will be like any other developed country. All the lands that we have, all the resources that the Lord has given to us, why are we still here? Because of bad leadership. It is all because of many bad leadership. I want to make a difference in society. To have hope. Have confidence. And one man who is ready to sacrifice his life to make Ghana a better place. Now, all of has to go back. Okay, borrow president. Okay, so that they also pay the taxes for us. <laughs> so this afternoon, I want to say once again say a big thank you <laughs> for Church of Pentecost. <laughs> giving me this opportunity <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> again, don't forget. <laughs> we need peace. <laughs> The chiefs, our congregation, you can bring peace. To Ghana. 
Don't make a mistake. Some people, if you vote for them, Ghana in the next four five years, will never see peace. In person, I can't say the Bible. I don't want to say too much here. But the Bible says, or our elderly saints. The wise man is spoken in two in parables. If you do not step your foot down, a time will come because of bad elections. We will win. Royals will become slaves in Ghana. I will speak the truth to you. Why? Because the Bible says, whoever has ears, let them hear. You need a courageous person who will speak the truth to you. Do not be engulfed by fear. Because Ghana is a peace of Ghana. We should not serve the peace of Ghana to individuals who will not bring peace to Ghana. I plead with you. I will plead with you. You are the one leading Ghana. We are here to serve and go. All the leaders, the kings and queens. Your authority remains at Your authority remains forever. As for politicians, their authority is temporal. Therefore, I plead with you. If you want Ghana to remain peacefully, Latin. Latin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to say this. 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 Oh, I do you can lift up your hands. You can wave to the glory of God. Wave to the glory of God. Are you a Ghanaian living in Ghana, abroad, a first time of visiting Ghana, or a company wondering where to get quality service providers in Ghana for any job? Then Ejumapa On Demand Services is here to assist you. Ejumapa On Demand Services connects requesters and service providers such as masons, plumbers, electricians, auto repairers, home and office cleaners, trash collectors, rent agents, spa attendants, roofers, beauticians, teachers, CCTV installers, and all artisans on one platform. Yes, one platform. Trust Ejumapa On Demand Services to sort you out any day, anywhere, and at any time. To download the app, please visit the App Store and Play Store or visit our website www.ejumapa.com.